In today's Hairy Horror, we'll be talking about the Dumbbell Murders. Not because they used a dumbbell for the murder, because a writer coined it the Dumbbell Murders based on these two. Ruth Snyder and Henry Judd Gray. They were a couple of dumbbells. They were the most imbecilic, horrible, inept murderers ever. And they also had a tryst. You see, Ruth was married, and she hatched a plan to start a life insurance policy for $48,000 in the name of Albert Snyder, her husband. She was counting the money before she got it. However, Henry didn't want to do it. She had to convince him and say that they would have a new life together. It would be wonderful. They'd have all the money in the world. It would be literally falling from the sky into their laps. He was on his way. He was not turning back now until he got to Long Island, found the house, and got into the backyard, and then he was going to go upstairs, find his hiding space, and wait till the time was right. You see, Ruth and Henry had hatched a plan, and he was very nervous about it. Poor Albert, downstairs sleeping. Albert was hit with a weight from a window sash, but that didn't do him in. It didn't work out. It just got him really angry. And they started fighting, probably something like this. He didn't know what to do. He started yelling, Mumsy, Mumsy. That was Ruth's nickname. They got some chloroform and they finished the job by choking him out. With Albert now dead, they took care of the body. They were at the crime scene. They didn't really know what to do. Henry convinced Ruth to be tied up, which is a bit odd. So when the police came, he fled the scene. They noticed, hmm, Ruth doesn't seem to be unconscious. Ooh. They delved in a little bit deeper into this one. And you know what? Ruth told them two giant Italians came in and they started robbing us. They robbed us at gunpoint. In the tussle and the confusion, they killed my husband and tied me up. Well, the police weren't having it. They were uh, a little bit sketch. They had a question. When they looked at the checkbook, the checkbook of Albert Snyder was written out to Henry Judd Gray. Ruth said, did he confess? The detective couldn't believe it. Both Ruth and Henry started blaming the other about being the brain of the gig. The police weren't having it. They started fingering each other. Henry lost it, and they were sentenced to death. No more smiles for Henry. Ruth didn't get her money. Henry didn't have a happy life with Ruth. The media became a circus, and they were both fried, quite literally, in the electric chair. So, that's why they were called the Dumbbell Killers. There was a novel made called Double Indemnity based on these killings. Stay hairy.